Hello everyone and welcome to my playthrough of Magic Knight Ray Earth on the Sega Saturn. I'm your host Rabbit and it's a good day as always it seems when I talk to you guys but I'm feeling really fantastic again. I just finished eating my lunch so I'm a little bit groggy. Hopefully I'll be able to not lull off too much in the midst of today's gameplay. But let's go ahead and jump right in where we last left off together. In the previous video, we basically liberated Polizu Village because we were able to go into this cave and defeat a giant spider monster that had been released and was terrorizing all of the people. But surprisingly, sweetheart Hikaru gave all the credit to that douchebag. I don't even remember. What the fuck was his name? Um, I don't remember. But nevertheless, what the fuck is his name? Yeah, as you guys can tell, I'm a bit out of it. What is this asshole's name? Ah, Lucino, that's his name. Okay. We did it! Oh, no, no, no. Shush, 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 shush. So now, I'm going to talk with the village elder and see if anyone has anything to say to us before we move onward. So... Oh, you don't have to say a word. I know what you did for Lucino, and it was sweet. So they know? How did they know? I wonder if we go and talk to Luki, if he will give us anything or say anything, and then we're going to get the hell out of here. Hopefully those guards won't be blocking the northern path and we can continue. I've been thinking a lot about how I acted. I was narrow-minded and selfish, and I gave you girls such a hard time. From now on, I'm going to change my ways and do the best I can for these villagers. All right, that, that's it, no reward. Jeez. I'm sure your help must have been necessary for him to have defeated those monsters. He's always been good with magic, but even he couldn't have done that alone. Nevertheless, this has been for the better. Now he's trying hard to be a great magician again, and that's the Lucino I know and love. Well, sweet pea, you are welcome. All in a day's work for the Magic Knights. All right, guys. Well, essentially, I think we're done. I'm going to go to the store, see if I can grab some items so I don't die. Come on, Yukari. Why are you going so slowly? I love the layout of these shops. I will grab one health. Wait a minute. Do I have enough, do I have enough money for this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. That's so funny. Well, whatever. We don't need your bullshit. Let's see if the guards will let us through now. No. And I think we're supposed to be making our way to some beach. Oh, good. We can go through now. Now that the monster situation is under control, you're free to come and go. Fabulous. And I know there were two other areas that we could possibly venture to so I'll test that out later but it looks like this is where we need to go Teflon by the sea makes me think of Teflon the material in non-stick pans <laughs> this music it's so cute hey talk to me this is Teflon a village known for great fishing lately nobody's been able to catch any fish though it doesn't make any sense I mean there are so many fish how can we not capture any? Okay, we'll go up that way in a second. Can I get in the water? No. We can do all kinds of crazy shit, but we cannot get wet. A girl named Sarah lives at the Cape on the outskirts of this village. She's got this, this thing for pets, some kind of monster. It's gross. Ugh. If you look out at the sea from the northern Cape, you'll see an island-shaped device. There's an old legend that says a giant dragon rests beneath it. A giant dragon? Could that be related to those machines Clef spoke of? He did mention C. There's only one way to find out. We'll have to make our way to that island. Yes, we will. All right, let's go in here. Well, or walk out, you know, whichever. What do you have to say, Gramps? I'm the elder of this village. If there's anything you need to know, I'm your man, so don't hesitate to ask. Well, that's why I'm trying to fucking talk to you. Yeah, we'll use food here. Sarah's last pet drowned in the sea. Right after that happened, Caltus left the village. Who's Caltus? Move out of my way. Whoa, that transition. Well, it looks like there's nothing to do here. 
which is weird. I was anticipating more exploration, but it seems pretty straightforward where you go in, you talk to the right people, you get your mission, and then you handle your business. The nearby sea used to be so calm until recently. Until recently what? What happened recently? What do you have to say, purple-haired man? You want to go to that frozen island up north? Forget it. Even ships haven't been getting through. So if you think you could swim, you're nuts. The only person who might stand a single chance in hell of succeeding is gone. His name was Caltus, and he disappeared a few weeks ago. Well, then I will find him. All right. Unless Sarah transformed him into her new pet. Why is this house empty? A skillful fisherman named Caltus used to live here. I know that he moved out of here recently, but I have no idea where he went. Well, I don't either. We're just fucking visiting. Let's see. Oh, it's that douchebag again. What are you doing? Ah, hello again, girls. Hello to you, too. We bump into each other quite a bit. Are you also traveling? Y yeah, you might say that. Are you headed the same way we are? Maybe we can travel together. Hikaru, we're on a quest to save the world here. This trip involves great risk. She's right, Hikaru. We can't be responsible for the safety of that kid. All right, all right. Oh well, sorry, Shorty. Hope to see you again sometime. Like I travel with them anyway. And who <laughs> she call it, Shorty? <laughs> well, I think Shorty is a term of endearment for some cultures. At least I think so. I believe African American Shorty is a term for cute girls or something like that. Ah, this must be the rag that kept this place so sparkly and clean. Yeah, this has isn't. Oh my gosh, look at Boo's face. It's not that big of a deal. But this house is kind of a mess. I guess she does not like dirt. Okay. <laughs> well, looks like we should go to the other side. I love to swim, but when it's rough like this, I can't go in the water. This sucks. Although those graphics are pretty nice. I think this is a pretty game. It's got really nice animations. The sprites are quite adorable. The movement's pretty smooth. So I like this. I think the Sega Saturn was grossly underrated in the US. I know it did much better in Japan. Japanese people seem to appreciate it as a system far more than North Americans did. And I don't know how well it did in Europe or Australia either. Wazuzu! When you, oh yeah, I talked to you already. No. Alright, let me go. We are... Alright, let's talk to you. Blah, 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 blah. No one cares. I guess let's try this house. We got nothing to lose. Sarah, she's not allowed in here. She's weird, and her pet makes a sewer rat look like a supermodel. <laughs> okay. Sarah is a quiet girl. She's been that way for as long as I can remember. She used to have a normal pet, but something happened to it. I think she's poor, too, but that doesn't make it okay to have a monster for a pet. What does her being poor have to do with anything, you asshole? Sarah? No way I'm going anywhere near her. No matter how many times we tell her, she just doesn't get it. That thing is a monster. She's nuts. Okay, well, Sarah is not the most popular kid in this town. I used to visit the village at the foot of the eastern mountain across the sea. I haven't been there lately, though, because the sea's been too rough for swimming. Uh, what does that little sign say? The pharmacy is now open for business. Please come inside. Maybe we can find something useful in there. Maybe so. Oh, it's just another shop. Well, I still can't afford anything except a magic potion, which, no thanks. Hey, wait a minute. Is that just a chick standing over here? Oh, I can't talk to her. No, I don't want anything. Okay, guys. Well, let's go up here. We pretty much exhausted every other area. Here, and then we'll try up there next. Oh, now you run? <gasps> what is that? Rawr! Is this Sarah? Everyone go, <laughs> Sarah's hair is kind of messy. She needs a brush. Everyone complains about my little Jiminy, but he's such a good, quiet pet. Why can't they just accept him for the way he is? His name is Jiminy? Look at him. He's absolutely adorable. What? 
Well, thanks! This is the first time anyone's ever said a nice thing about him. I guess Hikaru understands her. You three are so kind. You have no idea how happy I am. You've made my day! Alright, that's it. I'm Jiminy. But Hikaru is so sweet. I absolutely adore her. Okay, can I talk to you? I heard that there are small jewels known as rainbow amulets hidden all over Sephiro. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and purple. All the colors of the rainbow. They say that if you can find them all, a special surprise awaits. Well, I like surprises. Alright, nothing there. My mother won't let me play with Sarah. It's completely unfair. Sarah lost both her parents at a young age, so I know how much friendship means to her. Well, your parents are asshats. Let's talk to you. The sea is rough, the skies are dark, and monsters are all over. What's happening? Rumors are flying that the princess is in trouble. Is it true? Oh dear, I hope not. Okay, well, what do you guys want from me? I came, I talked to everyone. I guess let's talk to the mayor again, and if there's nothing for us here? Uh, where is the mayor? He's at the other side, right? We'll run over there. We'll jump, jump, jump. Wait, I think this was his house. Oh, yeah, yeah, we already talked to you. <laughs> Poor Hikaru, stuck at the bottom. Hey. Ah, here we go. Eh, hey, Caltus? Well, he left rather suddenly. Didn't have much to say. Just took off. He's not the type of guy to, to split for good, though, so I don't think he's gone too far. So I guess maybe we should just leave and explore? Because... I mean, there's nothing left for us in this town unless I miss talking to someone. So, I don't know. We'll try. I don't know if it'll let us go to one of those other areas, but I'll see. I can't imagine what I'm supposed to do in Teflon. I keep wanting to call it Teflon. So, Countess has gone to disappearing or he has disappeared let's see can we go this way now no we still cannot and I don't think we can go the other way so if that's where we're supposed to be that is so odd I oh my god I can't believe water fucks you guys up like why would you even let us walk into it it's all I'm saying developers okay Oh yeah, this, this is just a bunch of rocks. So I guess we are supposed to figure something out there. Although I'm not sure what it is we are supposed to do. Maybe we should go ahead and just buy one of those hints, I suppose, is the best way to describe those things from the guy. But I don't want to spend my fucking money on that. That seems... Hmm... Or I wonder if Clef has anything to say. I probably should be making use of him a little bit more. Alright, let me bring him up and see what he has to say. Alright, Clef. Your next task should be to gather information at the village by the sea. Well, I suppose we could just walk up to people and start asking questions. That's pretty much what we've been doing. Are you serious? We talk to everybody. Absolutely everyone. Unless there's someone hidden somewhere. I've talked to you a million times. I talked to your woman. Nothing from you. That is so odd, guys. But never fear. We'll figure it out. And if not, by the end of this video, I'll just find a forum or something on this. Surely, since this game is so old, there's gotta be something. Okay, let's talk to you again. Damn, so maybe there's something in Caltus's house? Since allegedly he's the only one who could successfully... Yeah, I talked to you. This is Caltus's home. Maybe there's a note? No. <laughs> I guess not. I guess there's no pathing. Nothing. Okay, well. I guess, guys, uh, 
I am legitimately, whoops. But when it's, uh, you already talked to me and I talked to you already. <laughs> Hikari just fucking called him a squirt, wow. That is funny. Well, we're about up on time anyway, and you guys can enjoy the music while we try to figure out what the hell to do. And yeah, like I said, if in the next two minutes I cannot find the asshole that I'm supposed to talk to, I will just go somewhere. This game came out how many years ago? So surely someone has a tip. And I bet it's going to be something incredibly obvious that I should have been able to figure out on my own, but alas, I did not. And you would think that talking to Sarah would cause something to happen, but I guess not. All right, I think we've literally talked to everyone, and the only dialogue that's changed was with the village elder, so... And I went up there already. This is Sarah. No, that's a shop. I don't want to talk to you. Hum dee dee dum dee dee. Okay, well, Sarah. I'll talk to her if nothing new. Jeez, how odd. Okay, guys. Well, we will call this a video. I guess I can check and see if the girls have anything new to say. And... Yeah, I'm gonna go look up where the hell we're supposed to go because I literally have no idea. Maybe I should go back and visit Precia. I'm, I'm not sure, but we'll see. Okay, here we go. We reached the seaside village of Tathlon and found out the ocean was filled with giant whirlpools. So much for swimming. We also met a nice girl named Sarah. The villagers treat her like an outcast. I wish they were kinder to her. She has a gentle soul. Sarah says Jimning is a quiet creature, but anyone would be considered quiet compared to that chatterbox Mokona. The thing just won't shut up. Anyway, the villagers treat Sarah badly, but I'm not sure why. I think maybe they're just frightened of any outsiders in this dangerous time. I wonder if it's really necessary to visit the iceberg to find our machines. Being that I cannot swim to save my life, I'm a little apprehensive about it. Well, actually, I'm terrified. Maybe I'll take two life vests. <laughs> okay, well, that's it from everyone. So when we come back, guys, I will have looked up what is our next course of action. I'm going to venture. We either need to go back and talk to Precia, maybe get a boat or something. I'm not sure. Or maybe we're supposed to talk to someone in Polizu. Who knows? Let's all speculate, but we will find out when we come back together. So thank you so much for watching. I am your host, Rabbit, and this is my playthrough of Magic Night Ray Earth. I will see you guys in just a moment with the solution to this mystery.